Hello everyone, this is Shrek, as always, playing more Pyre, yes. We're, we are getting very, very close to the climax here. Let's see what Wolfred has to say. Following Hedwin's liberation, you find Wolfred smoking at his pipe. His eyes averted. Looks up and smiles as you approach. Hello, my girl. Excellent work back there. Thank you for your perseverance. Though, I was just reflecting on how very fortunate I've been in all this. Not just me, but really all of us who had a chance to stand with Hedwin here. Ours is admittedly a somewhat desperate plan. It was vital to me. Should the Nightwings rise again, then it be under proper care and guidance. I was just thinking how well Hedwin served in that capacity. Whatever it is to be the outcome of all this, no doubt his presence shall be missed. My agents and I, we were unsure of him at first. A common boy like that, completely unacquainted with the race. But in the end, I felt that he was worth a shot. Someone like him. Sincere, determined, with loyal friends, and desperate to get home, and those qualities spoke volumes. I have every faith that he shall strive on our behalf now in the Commonwealth, and it is my hope that he yet finds the one he sought. Damn. Alright. It is going to be uh, hard without him, but... Dawn, your companions are prepared to depart. Everyone is silent. Your travels are to take you back to the nest of Trista. But soon after, the stars shall draw you here again. Alright. Can we get to land in one spot? Oh no, we can go two spots. Mitha suspects you may find something of value on this route. Logan Rod's passing here with a special offer. Well, let's take a look. What do you got for us? Trade with Falcon Ron. Oh, hey guys. Funny running to you here, you guys, alright? But anyway, I got to say, do I got just the thing for you, mint condition. And although I haven't seen it exactly, I am really, really sure it's something good, okay? So what do you want, this thing or what? Offering a sealed talisman. No telling what it is for certain. They sense its power. Such an artifact would likely cost much more than once on display. Oh fuck, I don't have... I can't... Oh. Just cause I didn't have a hundred? Fuck, well... I could have sold stuff and then bought it? No, I guess not. Give me that glory. More of an artifact than book. Its power almost solely rests with the reader, who, make, who makes time to form a certain meaning from the passages. Yet the glimpse of knowledge you approached just then called back to you to stop. Go no further, not to press too forcefully against the outer limits of your understanding. Nevertheless, what you recognize shall have to be the final time inspiration comes to you in a flash. But we can't get anything more from this. We've got all the bonuses. Everyone has plus two to everything, basically, now. He looks up at you, and his strange eyes, a color not unlike the bindings of the book, and he smiles at you faintly. The moment passes, and he turns to go about his business. He leaves you there. You realize you are clutching the book of rights to your chest, and you manage to pull it away. Well, there you go. There we go, let's do the rights. Righteous rights. Uh, Alright. Hey guys, come on. Whatever happened to the smiley headman guy? Yet he got out of here. Grab stuff. Air dust. I'm not really using this anymore either. This I am, of course, but what do I have on people? Uh, duh, 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 duh. I could use. I could really upgrade this. I think that's really the only thing I'd want to upgrade, or replace it with something else. Which actually, it might be better to just give him like one of these. You know, maybe. Press two quickness, hope so he comes back faster. 
He moves faster. Moving faster is not a big deal for him, but everything else is really good for him. I think it's plus in quickness. Next right. Yeah. Maybe I do buy that. Maybe I just sell my other stuff. I don't need it. I do want that though. Oh, I probably actually would have him sit on that if I use him as defensive. Uh, I'll either put it on her or him. Depending on which one I use. Hmm. Do I care? Do I actually want to buy? Is this worth it? Probably not. Nothing considered. Oh, him having extra presence is so... Seems really good. Because I think it would also benefit his, um... I don't know. Hmm. I guess I don't want to buy these. Ah. I guess I'll... Do I just want to buy... Do I even want to use that? The only thing I can upgrade is this. Which isn't that fantastic. Because I could just get this, and it's just a straight upgrade at that point. So let's just do that. All right, whatever. It has, as it's a strict upgrade over this, so it doesn't really matter. All right, uh, I don't think there's anything here. Commence the right. Mood is more dour than usual as you make preparations for the coming right. Hush has fallen over your fellow exiles, and a sense of dread hangs in the air. At least one of your companions is unfazed. You sense the influence of one of her own. She's nearby. Her mind corrupted, calls out, screaming. Cast those here, perhaps? The witch. She talks to revere an ancient god undying and unyielding. In this land on her consciousness. She may attempt an exorcism here, but the conditions are unique. She may not be expecting us to be abetting it. However, it's just a risk. Upon her mind and her own and mine own. Though worthwhile risk, perhaps. Then the stars above begin to shimmer. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. There, the star of Yash. Our adversary worships it, and whoever and whom it represents, fixate upon that star, reading one. Focus power. Do so, and our adversary you shall be, be emboldened, but also left vulnerable to our own sorceries. I ask you to invoke. Oh, yeah. This one. The answer shall be more cunning and more quicker to react. Plus 10 enlightenment. Alright, well, that's probably worth it, actually. Well, we'll, we'll give it a try. We might regret this. It is risky, but plus 10%, that, that's more reasonable, you know? Then plus three per time. Come on. Leader. It seems the stars once more have mustered wherewithal to usher in the rites. Yes. The sky grows dimmer by the day. An age is ending. Surely you must know by now that you shall never all be free. Yes. You knew that a long time ago. Still, you struggle to fulfill some senseless plan. Yes. But I digress, of course. Some of us still honor the tradition. Some of us hold dear the teachings of the scribes. I think I want Prometheus in front. You just fly over this shit. Well, yo, the maggots. 
We should have known. But Virtue does not respond. Me Nightwings, that one shall be of little benefit to you. That one's sorceries are mere pittance to the overwhelming might of you. Soon we shall see. My son to our... I'm sorry, whatever. Beware, though, our sorceries... We cast a hopeless doubt about her faith upon her god. It shall be done if we prevail, but only if. Our own mind shall perhaps be forfeit otherwise. So, uh, I have to win this, basically. Choose now, your band of traitors. Don't give me that shit. All right. Tabitha. No. Okay. Okay. And um, do I want her? No, I want I want Tree Man. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Whatever her designs upon the rights, they cannot be good. It has dangerous intent. Now then, Nightwings, you wish to mock Yosh? He and your infinite foolishness shall be among the first to suffer. You say that, but... Comments. Oh, well. Oh, they love to pounce, huh? Yep. <laughs> No! You fool! I wanted to jump. Seize the orb! Oh, come on. They're so jumpy. I didn't think they'd be so jumpy. What? Oh, it lived! Oh, fuck. There we go. I didn't get the bonus because I wasn't flying at the very end there, but. It's, oh, and because I wasn't flying, I didn't come back. Shit. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, well, they're going to toss that in for free. Oh, they ran in. Okay. Well, that hurts. Banish two exiles in a single order cast. Well, that's unlikely to happen. Given how much they jump. Oh, shit, you can go off the edge. Uh-oh. Oh, wow, it went in. All right. I didn't really expect that, actually. There we go. You wretched ones. Yash, art thou even listening to us? Dost thou try yet live? We believe in thee. Such a pain we shall inflict upon you insolence. The scribes cannot protect you, and their ancient tests shall all be for naught. There. She soared right in. Oh, come on, I wasn't flying? I was totally counted as flying. Now go on, just once more. Oh well, this is a bit of a problem. The orb, take it. Easy. It is done. Boom! Nailed it. You know who prevail. A little rough at the start, but their next adversaries fare a little better. And there won't be many uh, more adversaries. The right is done. The right is done. How can this? How can this be? Answerous. Yosh, yosh. You observe Virtue there, fixed in a meditative pose. There, he will might. Relent, relent. Thy god has not abandoned thee, because thy god is dead.
Thy God is dead. Pray to him, all those likest. Yet it shall be good. The do the good, no good. Goodness, that's so hard to read. As Bertrand recedes in the shadows, all the maid slumps down, staring at nothing before her. <laughs> this cannot be. Answer us. Answer us. So <laughs> permanently. Oh God. The rights do tend to teach something of trust. Wow. God damn. What is it you recall there, Bofors? The rights demand we act as one mind in perfect unison and harmony, and free of any doubt. I have grown more accustomed to being a part of the Nightwings of today. Permanent gains plus five hope, pacing up quickly versus management. Very good. Using shields as allies as well. I don't actually make use of that. Uh, if Wolfrid is banished, the sapling shall automatically spawn near his pyre until he returns. So that's really good. Plus five hope. I would really speed him up. Like, a lot. I think I just pirate store by plus 40 instead. <laughs> um, yeah, let's do this. It's fine. Because I want that final one. Really? Oh, you didn't have to take part, did you? you may go I forgot about that. At your earliest convenience. Oh, well. I probably should have used her, actually, now that I think of it, but eh, it's alright. Give me a thin rookie, we're both really good, so. Inside the wagon, after revealing of the withdrawn, rookie is discussing aspects of the outcome with others whom the lone minstrel seeks you out. Pardon the interruption reader, though I need to ask a moment of your time, while well, the night is clear enough for you to see. Please come have a look outside. Perhaps the news of your next destination may further stir the hearts of your companions. We're going right to the thing, aren't we? Among the stars, yet remains shining in the night sky. One, whom now burns as bright as ever, have you seen? That freedom calls you again. So soon! So soon. We're very close to it, too. Okay, who are we gonna have to face against? Chastity. Oh, there, there's no problem. No problemo at all. Alright. Well, I shouldn't say that. They haven't been an issue so far. The cycle turns even more quickly now, until such a time as it shall shudder to a halt. It makes a sound, then almost like a laugh. I forgot myself, reader. I should not say such things. The scribes, they would say that one ought to focus on the path in front of her. When we set forth to walk along a labored path, it shall be all too much. If we stand back and look upon it as a whole, we may well decide to turn around. But if we begin to walk, whilst casting down our gaze, and whilst resisting well the urge to look too far ahead, we may make steady, careful progress. Soon enough we may arrive where we have endeavoured. Well, Mistral bids you a good evening. You had best retire for the night. Alright. Now we have like a ton of this lore stuff, like an absolute metric fuck ton. Oh, I just got an achievement. Black and nails, so I hereby inscribe the right of flames. Accusers formed under Galassia. Uh huh. Mercy is the beating heart of a truly free society. Mercy, even for the perpetrators of the darkest tea. There you go. Afterward, as an exile of the downside, as reader of this book, and as a conductor of the rights, you are engaged now in a cycle. Which has lasted since the dawn of this age. Here within this part of the book is offered summary of all key fi figures, locales, terms, and astral phenomena you shall encounter. Either first hand or in passing on your path. To know the history of the downside and the rights is to prepare yourself to walk the path toward enlightenment and then to liberty itself. Should you be free again, remember, reveal not the rights themselves, nor the existence of this book. Look at that. Let's continue on our journey, shall we? I find it. I don't. Well, we could probably do the final one here, right? In this episode. 
I don't know. It might be a long... Oh! Never mind. Things are happening. Your massive wagon reels from the impact of some sort of massive object slamming into it mid-flight. False night wings. Orlach calls down to all of you atop his wagon. Again, you seek to climb that accursed mountain beneath us. Again, you seek to take my rightful place. I should send you crashing down to it. That you might fall as I have. But I shall not. Rather, we shall meet upon the summit ere the last cycle of the rites is ended. Until then. Oh, is he gonna... He might actually fuck up the... Three people. This will give Phaser and, uh... Well, I'm gonna use Pamitha. Not gonna use Gertrude, so... You may... You make landing on the secret mountain a whole deal. Alright. Orlok spoke the truth. He has a right to gain the summit. When the time comes, Celeste shall deem him worthy and shall let him pass. While he has transgressed against the rights, he has also already been anointed and prevailed. Nothing is written in the book on this, and liberty ought already be his. At the time, it seems that he has not yet traveled to the summit. Perhaps he is still making preparations with his fellow exiles. Why then, exactly, Orlok intends to make good on his promise? He did not make clear. When, oh, sorry. For now, you have to confront Manly and the chastity upon the summit, but first you may prepare. Well, you have that afternoon, new company, Pamitha, along the solemn beauty of the Temple High Road. What do you do when all this is over, Pamitha? You going to run away? Let's face it, you're probably not getting out of here. So then, you can either go live out your days under some rock somewhere, or maybe these call your friends. Maybe they may mean it? You return to the wagon after she's finished paying her respects. The summit awaits, but first, there's time to continue practicing your vocations. That's two crosses? Nice. Uh, mentor companion? Uh, we should probably actually do that. Gilman? Uh, how much does he need for the next... 1700? That's not gonna be enough. I can level her up, though. Very well then, educate us, if those counts. You find a remote spot where you and Virtue can discuss any of her misgivings or fears about your journey. Boom! Strange designs of these crabs. Yeah. Or arcs in a wide angle, or use her blast. Oh, charge of time is greatly reduced. I like that. Do it faster. Very well. To the scribes gate we go. Here in the fading glory of Mount Elodil, you encounter a messenger imp. Hey! The news this time pertains to Hedwin, whom you liberated at the fall. You hear Hedwin. Return safely to the Commonwealth, where he is clothed and welcome, his past transgressions all forgiven. He must be groomed for a leadership position of his choice, whether on the Council or the Blood Board, each equally as lucrative and secretive as well. However, he refused, and before the stunned Council members could do anything about it, he left them. He since made contact with Wolfert's agents, and is working together with them, thus the ranks of the Revolution grow stronger. For the Messenger in Custom, the last part of the message was transcribed from Hedwig. Word for word, and says, Keep going, I'll see you there. See you here. You thank the messenger imp for relaying the information. Soon your companions are all buzz about it. Glorious example Hedwin sets for us all. May that boy's spirit infect a lot of ye, as would a plague. Well done, Hedwin, my boy. I knew you could do it. Yeah, that's how it's done, Hedwin. Right behind you, chum. Wonder if you'll ever find the one he fell for. The news of Hedwin's liberation fills you and your fellows with newfound resolve. Excellent. I would like to know what our plan percentage is at after anyone's there, but... Axel's the Nightwings, and you, Tariq. This has to be one of our final meetings. Greetings, Celeste. The Nightwings are prepared. And afterwards, I would have a word with you in private, if you please. Seems to me rather late for words now, Tariq. But sh I shall hear them once your carriages cross the gate. But, guys, we're going to do it next time. Oh, yeah, that's right. Cliffhangers. Is this possibly the last right? Who knows? We might have one more after this, but I kind of doubt it. Kind of doubt it.